In this video, I'll be talking about a new backpack that I just received from Amazon. It's the Ligsan backpack with, with wheels. So this is my old backpack, my Swiss gear backpack. So I'll be showing you this new backpack in this video. Hi tubers, thank you for stopping by again, my channel. Um, so the, the Higla has landed. Um, I, I just purchased this uh, Lig, Lig San, Lig San um, backpack from Amazon. And um, the reason I purchased this backpack is that I've had this one for over 10 years. This is a Swiss gear backpack and it has served me well. And over the years, I've had to stitch, stitch the corners of the handles several times. And this portion, this part here tears, this part here tears. I had to take it to a shoemaker shop and they, they patched it up for me. And here, it's just falling apart after so many years, but it has served me well and um, it still can use, but I needed something with more pockets also, you know, and uh, this one is really going, it has taken a toll on the, um, on my travel schedule. My travel schedule has taken a toll on it, I should say. So, um, This one, this one has, you know, quite a few pockets that, but I still need more pockets. You can never have enough pockets as far as I'm concerned when you, um, when you travel. And sometimes I don't want to bring a, a, a like a carry on luggage with me, you know, and I needed just to bring a few things, you know, might be two pants, two shirts or something, you know, pack lightly, but this, this wouldn't, um, I couldn't pack everything in this one. So I always have to bring uh, an extra um, carry-on. But now I have this. After searching Amazon and YouTube and all about for a backpack that one of, the, the, uh, one of my requirements were to have a roller on this thing. You know, this one comes with a roller, which... I think is quite convenient for me because I, if, if I pack this up fully with stuff, you know, clothes and my, my, my notebook and all that stuff, I think it might be too heavy on my back. So I wanted something that has a roller. And plus my brother, I was with, with, with them um, last week and he has one that has a roller. Not this, not this, not this backpack, another brand. And he, he had his for many years and served him well. So we both were looking at backpacks and he agreed that this one should work because there's a lot of pockets here, which, you know, you have one pocket here, another one here, you know. And inside, wow. See that? This is what I like about it. You can actually pack some clothes inside of this thing. That's, 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 that this will serve me well. But I think the lining could be a little bit better. This look more plasticky, kind of hard plastic, you know. Um, nicer, a nicer lining would be nice, would be good. But let's see how well this, how long um, this lasts. There's, Kind of feel cheapy, plasticky right here, you know. But the functionality seems. This is another. It has this trap. You could 
put your clothes in and just drop it down. Has a nice little release button on this thing. And here is the, the handle for um, to pull it around and it comes up. See that? So I'll be able to drag it around. That's good. <coughs> and what do you know? There's another secret little pocket right here. You know, because you put it on this way and then there's this little pocket here, you know. Like if you go somewhere where there's a lot of pickpockets, you could hide your stuff in here. Like some cash, extra cash or a, your passport or something. That's really cool to have a packet, to, to have a pocket right here. That's great. Here is, here's another zipper again <laughs> on top. Let's see what's under this zipper here. Wow, oh, okay. The shoulder straps. The shoulder straps as a zipper. You just tuck it in like this and zip them up. See? Solder strap is right here. Hmm. So you can just yeah. drop them down. Okay, so that's nice. What else we have? So your laptop could go right in here, right in this part here. And then it has a little strap you could button down your laptop here. So it don't fall out, okay? And also there's another little pocket above this. You could put some little items in there. Oh, now, let me see, you have water bottle pockets, you have what, two, but I don't walk around with a water bottle, so I'll put something else in there. I wish it had a zipper though, you know, this pouch has a zipper, that would be cool, I could put like some sandwich over here, you know, or something. Because I always um, walk with a snack, you know, a homemade snack. I don't buy it from the store over there. A homemade snack I always walk with. Oh, I didn't show you this one. There's another pocket. Whoa. Oh. So this big one too? What? There's another pocket. <laughs> There's another pocket here. But once again, um, I wish this material was a little more nicer. You know what I mean? Like a, like a nice feeling. Um, yeah, I, I think this, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, I would be surprised if this plastic lasts five years. You know? And then what? There's another pocket. 
Damn. Another little pocket here. Yeah. Another little pocket. And there's another pocket. Yeah. This thing is loaded with pockets. Then you have two little pockets for your pen. Put your pen in there. Wow. Oh. I always use this thing on my on my um, Swiss gear uh, backpack. It's a key ring. So I put my, my house key on it. But I'm happy to see one in this thing. That's great. I like that. Wow. Yeah. So far, so good. I'm... I'm quite pleased. The only thing, the only thing I really don't like is the is the is the um, is the plastic. Is this plastic? It's. I think after a while it will just get it will just disintegrate. This plastic, uh, I don't trust it. You know, but the backpack has everything I need. And the um, the outer material that feels good. This feels just like the Swiss Swiss gear um, material on the outside. Let's see. Compare and contrast. You see, the Swiss gear has a nice feeling um, plastic. You know, it just feel nice, and it you know it won't disintegrate like I think that one will and if you notice I have what's this this is a slipper I always walk with my own slipper on it to use on the airplane so I drop it in my in my bag and when I get on board I just change my shoes to my slipper Make it more, much more comfortable. Kind of strange. Sometimes I see people get up from their seat in the airplane and just walk, walk to the restroom in their socks or barefooted. Just gross me out. How can you walk in there barefooted? People pee on the floor and all that. You know, you just get on your socks. Crazy. Yeah. I really did like my Swiss gear, but just time to go. And... To be fair, I, I looked at, at the Swiss gear site and they don't have anything with a roller, roller like this um, in a backpack. And uh, that's the only reason why I went with this. If, if, if Swiss gear had this, I, I would go back with a Swiss gear, you know? And one other, concern I have is about this handle. I haven't tested it. I, as you can see, this is the box it came, came in. It just came from Amazon. I mean, it just came from Amazon today. So no testing has been done yet. So um, my next trip is next month and I will be taking this with me. The handle. I, this kind of look kind of, I don't know. It's, it's sold here, you know, it's sold. But uh, I wonder how long, how, how long this will hold up because if you have a heavy, if this is well packed with stuff really heavy, I think, I think this handle will, will give up, you know. It's, it's nicely padded and all that, but just where it, connect, where it connected right here. I'm kind of leery about that one, you know. But... The design of this thing is great. I like it. I like the design. But like I said, two things I will knock it for. The handle where it where it's joined here. I don't like that. If you look at the Swiss gear. Where the handle is. See that it has a proper, you know, heavy duty handle right there. You know, proper heavy duty. The handle, I have, no, I have no issue with the handle itself. It's still solid. You know, it's just the corners right here. 
and then the other places I showed you before. But the handle is solid, you know. I might, I wish I could take this off and put it over on the new one. But the handle on the Swiss gear is solid. I like that. Yeah, okay. Another thing I like too, the, the back is nicely padded, just like the Swiss gear. You know, the Swiss gear is nicely padded too. The back of the Swiss gear. So it's always comfortable for me when I when I use this. I just came back yesterday and I had this, you know, as my only carry-on on the plane. So next month, I will see how this holds up. So I plan to um to pack some to pack some clothes into this one and see if I could survive with just this on a a long trip. Um, I'll be away for several weeks, so I'm gonna pack some essential stuff in this and see what happens. I'll let you know how it goes, but. This thing has so many pockets, man. I cannot run out of... Oh, shit. Guess what? Even, even in this big pocket down here, there are three other... No, two. No, two. There are two other compartments in this, in this section here. There are two other compartments in here. You can see it's so good, but... Two other compartments are in here. Hmm, so, can't run out of space on this one. <laughs> yep. I always need more pockets, and uh, this one has all the pockets that I could ever need. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing. So another thing is, um, how will the wheels hold up? I have no idea. We'll see. And I, I was watching a video um, with someone uh, reviewing this bag. And they pointed out that the bag might tip over if it's, if it's too heavy. If it's too heavy, it might tip over. And one person um one review i saw on amazon where the guy replaced these these legs here with a longer one like a two inch instead of a one inch or so so i will see what happened let's let's test it out first and see how it how well it works for me i don't need to go through all those modifications if i don't have to but if i have to then i will do it So that's it for the Ligsan backpack with wheels. Looks nice and everything. And and Amazon, I paid 69 bucks for it on Amazon. Actually, yeah, 69 bucks. So that's it, YouTube. So uh, thank you for stopping by. On my new backpack. Check out my new backpack with me and I'll give you a feedback on it later on. So this is just my initial take on it. I haven't used it yet. Just want to show it to you. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.